yesterday in writing, we did a couple steps. And if you look at our chart, we did step one, we thought of a topic. And you guys thought of everything that you know how to do. Then we did the second step and we said, hmm, let's ask how the steps go. And then number three, you touched and said the steps and then you turn and talk to your partner, right? About every step. And then finally yesterday we did step four where I had you go back and sketch out your steps. Well today we get to the really, really fun part. And today we get to start writing our how-to book. So let me show you what that's going to look like, okay? All right, in my how-to, I did how to plant a seed. Now remember, I'm an expert on this. I know how to do it, so that's what I picked, okay? We had our stickies here to tell us what happened. First, read it with me. First, next, then, and last. Okay, what's another word we could use for last? Yeah, Terry? Finally. Finally, okay. And yesterday you sketched out your steps. Okay, so first, I need seeds. Next, I need a pot. I need to put the seeds in the pot, right? Okay. Then I need to dig a hole and put my seeds in the hole. Last, I need to water my seeds and put them in the sun. Okay. Today, you are going to write using your sketches. Now, we're kind of going to do this step by step because I know we've never made a how-to book before. Okay, so we're going to do it together. You guys are going to get books. You're going to turn your writing into a book. Adeline's so excited, I know. Okay, on your book, you have four pages. Four pages for your first, next, then, last. to give you five minutes and I'm setting a timer so you only get five. Five? five. Well not to write, listen. Five minutes to sketch, sketch your pictures. And you know what? If you don't finish your sketches, that's okay because you can go back to it later on. Not right now, okay? So here's how it works. You see my first step? Yeah. See how all my stickies are down? Yeah. Don't touch them until you get to that page. So first, so you know what, I'm gonna lift that one up and on my first page, I'm going to sketch my seeds. So I'm gonna quickly sketch my seeds. This is what I need, maybe, maybe, I'm gonna sketch myself with my seeds and you know I'm really bad at drawing. I hope my hair doesn't look that crazy. Okay, but now I'm gonna label them. I'm gonna label seeds. Okay, I'm finished with my first one. So now I'm going to put that sticky down, I'm going to turn the page, and I'm going to move to my next, and I'm going to quickly sketch my picture for next. And it kind of helps that you guys have already thought about what you want to sketch, and remember a sketch is just a quick little drawing. Like I said, I will, I promise you, I will give you time to make it so nice and pretty once you're done. And I'm going to label my pot, and I'm going to draw a pretty little flower on my pot because that's what I'm going to grow. Okay. I'm done sketching my next. I'm going to put that sticky down. I'm gonna turn the page, and then I'm gonna lift my third sticky up so I can see on my third what I need to do. I think it's very important to transfer the knowledge from core to writing and phonics as well as in group. So the target that I have for the day, I make sure to bring it up throughout the lesson so that way it sticks with them and they're constantly looking for those skills and using those skills as they're reading. Um, like I said, whether it's in group and we're using the illustrations to find more about the text to whether they're doing it independently in their book baskets, even as small as in their little phonics stories. Okay, think about that. I know there's no illustrations, but what illustration do you maybe think would be in there to help you find more about the text? 